że ta dziewczyna ma w sobie coś. I podjąłem wtedy decyzję jako prezes Telewizji Polskiej, że widzowie Telewizji Polskiej w szansie na sukces yy, wybiorą naszą kandydatkę i reprezentantkę do reprezentowania Polski na Eurowizji. Nie pomyliłem się. Ludzie wybrali Wiki Gabor, a dzisiaj Wiki Gabor w olśniewającym stylu wygrała. Gratuluję Ci Wiki. to jump in here to say congratulations. You really nailed it. It was a fantastic performance from you and the team that you have on stage. It's a really touching performance. It's so energetic. Uh, you are so good. And it was a really strong race today. There was a lot of fantastic artists up there, 19 fantastic artists, and you made it. And I'm very, very happy that Poland could win on their own turf. Um, which is always always a plus. So thanks a lot to you. Thanks a lot to TVP for a fantastic uh, production here in Lviv. Uh, in, in it was with the support of the region, the city, uh, and uh, the whole Polish uh, community um, around Europe. I think contributed to a fantastic success for this event. So thank you very much. Thank you very much too. Thank you for being with us. A short translation of the speech of the president of the Polish television, Mr. Jacek Kurski, who told us that of course we are very happy, very proud of the show, that everything will happen to this night. And he said that when he first saw Vicky Gabor, he already knew that the star is born. It was at the Voice Kids, but Vicky didn't win Voice Kids. But as you see, she won the Eurovision, the Junior Eurovision Song Contest. And uh, thanks a lot for all of you. Thank you very much. And one small yes uh, sentence. I talked. Uh, I was talking in Polish because Vicky is a Polish girl. But I am so excited and uh, emotions. Thanks. Congratulations again. Fantastic show. World class show. Fantastic uh, performance. Thanks a lot, Ole, for fantastic cooperation. It was excellent time to. to cooperate with European Broadcasting Union. It has never occurred before that one country consecutively, one after, by, year, year by year, won, uh, won Eurovision Song Contest. But I promise probably it will apply to be yes. the host organizer yes. for Eurovision yes. Song Contest. Yes. Yes. We will apply, I promise. I'm very happy to hear that. You, you will be in trouble. What to do? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. 
Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Vicky, please take your seats. It's, uh, it's time to uh, say to our public, to the journalists, a few words. So, have you... Yes, can you sit down? There will be an occasion to make a photo. Vicky is with us all the time, don't care. So, Vicky, have you talked already to your family? I saw your mother running and crying <laughs> to you. Have you talked to her already? You have a micro. Yes, I saw her and she was crying. Yeah, she was in tears. Uh, I thought I'm gonna cry. I was crying like, like a minute ago. So, and, you know, I stopped because I just realized that I won Junior Eurovision 2019, and I can't, I can't believe it. You know, it's just amazing. It's my best day. It's the best day of my life. The best day in your life. Uh, it's also probably the best uh, day in the life of a whole new team. You have, how have you prepared for all this? It's a long way until this night. We took uh, a lot of time. The dancers are amazing and gave all of the things they could. And you know, uh, thank you so much for the dancers because they're seriously amazing. Tell us a few words again about uh, about the song. It's a very special song, Superhero. It's about human power. You know, we just won because of my fans, because of Poland. We went together and it's about saving the earth. So I hope that now after we all will be together and you know, save the earth. Despite your song, what was your favorite song this evening you have heard? You know, I can't really pick because all of the songs had a lot of like big chances to win. Um, all of them are great, and I have friends uh, with all the countries, and you know, I just, it's kind of sad that it's the end now, because we all have to say goodbye, but I hope that we see each other, everybody, again. I'm sure you were somewhere in the world, because you are all winners. Do you agree? It was okay. Okay. So, it's time for your questions, ladies and gentlemen. You first, please. JB from Radio International, Vicky, congratulations for winning, doing a double shot for Poland. Uh, Roxy, she hosted this year's contest. Would you go into her footsteps to host next year's as well? Um, yeah, who knows? <laughs> I don't think you're thinking about what will happen next year, it's too early. Yeah? I'm not thinking about whoever is gonna um, represent Poland, I'm just gonna hold my fingers crossed as hard as I can. Next question, please. Yes. Okay, maybe not a micro. It's not working. Can we change it? Thanks. You have another one here. Yeah. Good evening. Oh, that's better. Simon, Radio Bisqueta, Poland. We are very proud of you. Congratulations. Thank Ready. you so much. Uh, two questions. Poland becomes, as Mr. President said, uh, the first country in the Junior Eurovision winning the contest uh, twice uh, in, um, consecutively. Spain did it in the Eurovision Song Contest twice. It was 50 years ago, and they wait for next taxes half of century. I hope it won't be the case uh, of our country. So my first question is, will you consider to go for the Eurovision Song Contest? after 16 years old, and the other thing is, I'm sure that a lot of newborn babies, newborn girls will be named after you. <laughs> what is your favorite uh, names for kids? Thank you. Um, first of all, if somebody was called Vicky, I'd be so happy. Uh, you know, my favorite name of a kid, uh, all the names are really pretty. So. Everybody has a pretty name, and they're also beers. <laughs> okay, thank you. Next question, please. This side, please. Can you raise your hand again? Yeah. Hi, um, I'm Neil Farron from Europe. Um, first of all, Vicky and Catalonia. Thank you very much. My question for you is, somewhere out there in the world is the winner of the Junior Eurovision Song Contest 2020. What is your message for that person or that group of people? You know, um, congrats, obviously. Um, you know, whoever will win 20, uh, like, you know, whoever will win um, the next year is supposed to be really, you know, you have to really be really proud of yourself because I'm so proud that I won. 
because I, I don't believe it and I, I think that the person that will win next year won't believe it too. So yeah, just try to think about it and try to believe it <laughs> as much as you can. So by the way, tell us, what would you thought just one day before the show, yesterday evening, you were going to sleep and what, what were you thinking about? I was thinking about having fun, um, talking to the talking to the people and everything, but I never thought that I could hold this right now. You know, it's just an amazing... But it's real. Yeah. <laughs> I never thought that this could happen. Like, you know, I'm just so happy. I'm sorry, I can't really say anything because I'm shocked, so I'm sorry. So I'm sorry. But we have a lot of questions, so the next one, please, that you have to answer. <laughs> Who is next? Yes, please. Yeah. How is to be the winner of the Junior Eurovision Song Contest? <laughs> no, I'm so happy. As I said before, I can't believe it, and I think I'm just gonna. Yeah. I think I'm just gonna cry for the rest of my life that this happened right now. I'm not crying now because, as I said, I don't believe it. But after this, I think my dancers and I are gonna cry together in a circle. So I think that. <laughs> yeah, but I feel great. Seriously. <sighs> next question, please. Who is next? Yes. <laughs> Hello, Sebastian, Destination Room, Poland. Coś ty dziewczyno narobiła? What have you done, girl? Congratulations, we are so happy for you. And my question is, Roxana Bengil last year also had a situation that online voting gave her a huge bump, and here we are in Poland. Probably you watched this last year, you wrote something Yes, best. I watched it. And what, what are you thinking that time, one year ago, when you saw Roxana jumping, screaming, and having fun as the winner? Do you feel kind of same? What's your feelings about it? You know, she's a great singer, and um, you know, she 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 <laughs> deserved it. She really deserved it, and uh, you know, I was really proud of her. But I really can't believe that I won it now. It's amazing, and it's because of my fans and my family that are here with me, and everybody that supports me around. Thank you very much. Next question, please. <laughs> <laughs> you want to say something too, yeah? <laughs> Great, so, next question, yeah? Hello, it's me, Viadomirek, Studio ABC, TVP ABC. Sobota godzina 10 na 15. Słuchajcie, uh, uh, congratulations, Vicky, for your winning so w imieniu całej redakcji i widzów Studia ABC. I chciałbym tylko powiedzieć, zgadzam się, poprowadzić w przyszłym roku całą garę. Okay, I agree. So we can do it together hosting the next show, next year's show, why not? Um, by the way, Vicky, I, mean, I think it's maybe too early to think about the future tonight and to speak about it, but uh, after what happened, are you sure that uh, your future is being on stage, is singing, and uh, this is your dream? Yeah. I think this is what I want to do all my life, and I will never stop, even if somebody is on my way. I would just be like, go away. I would be like, I was still gonna sing all my life and make music, because you know I just can't live without it. So it's it's in my heart all the time. We are waiting for your new songs already now, Vicky. Next question, please. Who is next? Yeah. Uh, hello, Vicky. Uh, congratulations. Uh, we want to ask, uh, what have you been thinking about yesterday uh, before you sleep? Oh. <laughs> Um, you know, I was thinking about what's gonna happen in the final, like today, and I was like, let's just have fun, let's go, and everybody's doing, like, everybody's gonna do great, and I didn't really think about this right now, I didn't think about that, because for me, like, for me was like, you know, already being on the Junior Vision is winning, and like this. <laughs> It's like my dream came true. Like I, I'm really happy. This is the best day of my life, really. Vicky, tell us a little bit more about the last uh, days you spent here in Poland, in Gliwice, with uh, all your friends, participants of uh, this year's Junior Eurovision. You made some friends. Uh, yes. How was it? It was. Thank you. <laughs> it was great, and everybody is awesome. You know, it's just sad to say goodbye right now because it's really sad. But you know, as I said, it was a great time. Uh, we all played together, and yeah, you know, I'm, I'm just gonna cry when you say goodbye to each other. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, your question now, third row, please. 
I am Joseph from ESC Arena, Czech Republic. I would like to congratulate you and Thank you so have a great team of dancers with you. Could you maybe please introduce them to us? Yes. Great idea, let's do it. This is Zosia, Zuzia, Zosia, Janek i Bartek. Tell us about the choreography, how you worked on it. Uh, we worked a lot of time. Uh, Arthur Galetz was actually the choreographer that made all the dancing. Um, so it's been a pleasure to work with these people out here because they're amazing and you know they just dance amazingly, seriously. I think they're really great and um, I would like to dance with them all my life. Good to hear. Next question, please. Yes. Hi Vicky, I'm Curtis from Australia. Congrats, congrats. I'm super, super Thank proud of you. Thank you so much. I'm sure the rest of Poland and Europe is proud of you. Um, when we were chatting in one of our interviews, you said that Ariana Grande is your inspiration. How does it feel that all the kids around Europe and Australia and beyond are watching this contest and are inspired by you? How does that feel? That's, you know, amazing for me. and. Um, I, I'm really happy that I've got fans like that that support me and I got messages like oh you have to win I'm gonna roll on you that was the, the beautiful part you know this just the beautiful part that you have your fans and they're the best my fans are the best <laughs> yeah yes they are but entering the stage you weren't the thinking I suppose about the millions of viewers all over the world I when I went on the stage I felt like home because all the people were shouting, were like, thank you, thank you. I'm like, yay! <laughs> they were great, seriously. Everybody that was standing there, uh, dancing, you know, I love all of you, seriously. I'm talking to the people that were saying, I love all of you. Um, so you've got superpower from them yeah, too. I got energy. The superpower. I got the, they gave me energy, what I wanted to, I wanted to have. And my family was standing there, everybody, you know, everybody was like singing stupid here. I was really surprised, but I really like that, so they're really great. Next question, please, then. Yes. Vicky, hello. You're great, and uh, Poland is great. Um, do you have any mascot, any talisman? You know what? I don't have any. I have my family and my fans that support me and give me the amazing energy. And the dancers that are with me right now give me so much energy. Thank you. Next question, please, then. Who is next? Remind? Yes, uh, raise your hand and present yourself, of course. The micro is coming. Hello, David from Radio International. Many congratulations, Vicky. Thank you, sir. Let's just go back a little way to this morning. If I'd have asked you this morning what was the highlight of Junior Eurovision Week here in Klivitsa, what would you have said? I would have said great because it was seriously great. I had an amazing time with all the contestants that are seriously, um, you know, it's just a nice thing. You know, I, I dream to be here and I'm just sitting, speaking with you all and that's amazing for me. Yeah, so I spent a nice week here. Well, many congratulations once again. And I have a question, Vicky. Uh, when the first you thought you can be a singer, when you started to sing in life, how old were you? I think I was like six. Uh, my parents organized karaoke every night, so we spent a nice family time. And I took the microphone and I sang. And from that day, I was like, I love music. And I can't live without it. So every day I was singing. And yeah, up till now. And then you started to perform on stage when? You know, I started from the voice kids. And my journey started from that, so, you know, I just, I say thank you so much for the, the voice kids, because that was my first single out time, and it was an amazing experience, and yeah, it was really great then. And believe me, the journey is just beginning for you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Next question, please. Hi, Dan from OGA Sweden. Uh, you had a very unique uh, performance and very colorful outfits uh, such as yours with the uh, mirror 
shots all over the outfit. Did you have any inspiration or ideas for the, the outfits? No, uh, my son was riding in the car, which uh, actually did this. And he, he said that he's going to do something amazing, so I said, okay, I'm waiting. And he showed me this, and I was impressed because. So you saw it and you accepted? Yeah. Uh, we, you know, I love suits, so when I saw this, I was like, this is for me, this is for me. And they all look great in suits too, so I hope they like it. Um, but this was really hard to make, so he's an amazing, um, you know, stylist that did this. You were all looking great on stage. Next question, please. Who is next? Yes. Hi, Roxana from Destination Eurovision. But first, gratulacje, Vicky, zrobiłaś to! Thank you very much. You did it! Congratulations! So, what's your plans for the next few days? Do you want to relax, go for holidays, or fast back to school and make music? I'm obviously going to make music, but I don't really know. I didn't plan it. We're going to see tomorrow. Uh, as I said like before, I'm gonna cry, so that's what I'm gonna do at the first beginning. But we're gonna see. <laughs> yes. Mieszko Czerniawski, Eurowizja. Vicky, thank you for that magical evening. Uh, I have a question to you. Uh, as we heard, uh, TVP will try to host uh, next year contest. So if you could decide which Polish city uh, would be the best for the host of this next, wow. <laughs> next year's concert. Cons cons I think... Um... You see? You see? Wow, there are already a few ideas. <laughs> Warsaw, Krakow, I think, I think it would be nice in a Warsaw and in Krakow, my home city. I think we all agree. Good. Who is next then? Yes. Hi, my name is Tim from ESC Extra. Hi. Uh, Vicky, congratulations on winning. Thank you. I know recently that you were in the UK. Um, you yeah. were supporting Mars and Melody. Yeah. Now that you've won Junior Eurovision, would you like to do the same thing, but with you as the headline act at tour all over? <laughs> we're gonna see. We're gonna see. I didn't plan that yet, but it would be really nice. <laughs> Thank you. Why not with them? Next question, please. Who is next? Yes? Hi, Vicky. Congratulations from Benny Fenwick from Greece. Uh, I know that to reach so far and in your age, of course, you need to have talent, and but you need to work much too. So all this period that you've been working on uh, music, which difficulties did you have, have you faced? Like, made it difficult for you at some point? Like. No, you know, I love making music and everything just, for me, everything is okay right now. And I think in the future, everything's gonna be fine too, because I try to have time for everything. Uh, but for now, everything's fine. You think about the biggest challenges that are ahead of you now? Or you're not thinking it about? I don't know what the challenges are gonna be. I hope they're gonna be good, and I hope everything's gonna be fine. Uh, but I love challenges, I love new experience, I love new stages, like here, it's, the stage was amazing. And I love new things, so I hope there are going to be nice challenges in the future. Let's, we're going to see. Great. Waiting for another question. Yes, there. In the middle, in the middle, yes. It's coming, it's coming, don't care. Thank you. Sergiusz Kurak, Beata Belli. Congratulations, Rox. Vicky, it's such a wonderful Sorry, bro! To Rox, did you feel amazing at the same time? I just started to say my question um, because of the uh, Roxy, Roxy Wengel, uh, uh, after the hair winning, uh, started to be a superstar in Poland. Are you uh, already ready to be the next superstar in Poland? I would love to uh, be a superstar in Poland, but I would like to be a superstar all around the world. <laughs> so, we are keeping our fingers crossed for you. Waiting for another question to Vicky. Yes, there, please. Bernard Matias, Portugal, Sites Festival BT. So, um, my question, uh, or two questions, uh, in three words, um, how do you describe this week? And in three words, how do you describe your victory? Um, it's amazing here, and, uh, you know, 
it's going to be sad and everything's going to be like um, finished. Uh, but I had a really good time here and everything was amazing. And you know, it's just beautiful here. I um, had a great time with the contestants and you know, we're all best friends. And you shared the joy. I shared the joy. <laughs> Everyone is sharing the joy this evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. We have time uh, for last two questions. Yes, please. Konrad Szczesny, Viva.pl. Congratulations to the whole team. And could you tell us, Vicky, about, do you remember that day when you heard the superhero for the first time? And could you tell us about your cooperation with the composers? So, Lambere, Patrick Kumur and Dominic. Yes, I, I, when I heard it the first time, I was like, oh my god, I love this. And you know, I actually wanted my song to be about, you know, people being together, about the nature. And it was like made for me. So, I'm. You know, thank you so much for uh, the people that made the song because for me, it's great. Thank you. And the last question? Yes, there, there, I see it. Behind, behind, behind. Hi, Vicky, my name is Agnieszka Kaszew. Hi. Watch me as the paper from social media of TVP, and I have one question. If could you pick up a subject for you for next song, what it could be? Um. <laughs> We're gonna see. I can't really decide yet. Um, and I don't want to say anything because I want it to be a surprise too. So but you're gonna see. You're gonna see later. But have you started already to work on some new songs? Yes. Meanwhile, in, yeah. In the meanwhile, uh, before Eurovision, I had some songs already written, and you know it was just laying there. And I was like, why not put something uh, after Eurovision? It would be really nice. So just wait because it's gonna come out. Um, so, they are coming new songs from Vicky Gabor, the winner of Junior Eurovision Song Contest, Grivice, Silesia, 2019. Thank you.